Hey guys, what's happening? So, the other day I noticed that I put fluid in this uh, reservoir and it was leaking out somewhere. And it actually leaks out so I don't have any more fluid to clean the washer. And I was actually fixing my glow plug off. Or, I was fixing the glow plug and I had to take this thing off here. So, uh, the inner fender well cover. So now I have good access to this. I figure I'd fix everything when I have it off. So, I also have to fix my horns too. But... Alright, so I gotta figure out what it's leaking from at the bottom. As you can see, it's only one at the bottom, so I don't know what the deal is. So it could be leaking from the pump. Yeah, I can feel it actually wet from the pump. So I don't know, I gotta, I gotta take this off and figure it out. That yeah, sucks, I gotta take the battery out, but there's a couple bolts. I was hoping I could get it down from the bottom, but yeah, it's not gonna go. So I gotta take this battery box off. And the bolts, these all painted while it's off, so. Alright. Little lock nut things, man. They just totally are corroded through. So put a vice grip on there. All right. So now that things, the battery is out of the way. Just one power connector here and the water hose. I don't know where it's leaking from. It's weird. It holds it from the bottom, but like I said, it definitely drains out. So and right now, it's I'm not getting actually any uh, flow right now too. So I don't know. Okay, so I put a little rubber uh, stopper there on the uh, motor. I'm going to fill up with water. I, I clean the outside a little bit, but um, if it doesn't, if I can fix the leak or find the leak, uh, then I'm going to throw some, you know, I'll, I'll spend the extra time to clean out the inside, put some CLR on it, get rid of that. It looks like calcium and lime in there. And uh, hopefully that will, like, free up some of the stuff caught in the screen, but like I said, it's not worth doing that if I uh, can't fix the leak here. So I'm going to fill this up with water and let it sit and see if I can figure out if it's leaking or not. Alright, so I'm going to let it sit here and see if I find a puddle after a while. Right, this has been soaking for a couple hours. No leak so far. You know, I was thinking there might have been a crack up there somewhere, but maybe it is just the, this uh, hose down here. So I'm going to cut that off. But, yeah, it's weird that it, even though there's fluid in there, it doesn't totally leak out 100%. So maybe when it gets to a certain amount of pressure, like, uh, you know, all the volume of water in there, putting pressure on this thing. Maybe when it gets to a lower volume, the pressure is not great enough to overcome the, uh, the leaky seal here. Okay, so now that I know I don't have a leak in there, see that debris in there? I'm going to use a little CLR here. Put that down there. Oh, I'm Add a little water to it. Let it soak. I decided to put in my ultrasonic cleaner here. I don't know if you can see with the light on, but... Put water in there too at the bottom here. That way it actually kind of help uh, transfer the uh, the uh, sonic waves into the actual solution inside of it. All right, so I let that thing soak overnight, and it actually did pretty good. The CLR did a good job getting rid of the uh, calcium and lime. And the re you don't want the calcium and lime because it's going to get sucked up. You know, it's going to go through the motor, and it's going to get sucked up, and it's going to get stuck in one of those jets that point to the windshield. It's going to clog those up, so that's why you want to get rid of it. But actually, that's why you should never use like regular just tap water. Um, so the guy that previously had the truck before me probably used tap water. Um, so you should use either distilled water or like that, that bug wash. So um, before I put it back together, I want to test the, the motor here, make sure it actually is working and spinning. Yeah, see, the motor's locked up too. I mean, I should I should hear it spin right here. And also, it's pulse with modulation, but. Alright, so that thing is locked up. So it was a combination of leaking and not working and... So maybe I can tap this motor and get it to unlock here. And I was hoping I really didn't have to go this in depth with this thing, but... I think the motor is a C, so I'm going to put a little silicone on there. I'm going to pull the motor out of, this, out of the reservoir here. And I put a little silicone uh, on there to loosen it up the... Uh, softens up the rubber. Alright, I'm going to try to... Try to get this in here, but not try to destroy the. There we go. All right. So you can see the rubber thing is like a little screen right there. So my flashlight. But I'm gonna look in here and see if I can see this thing. Uh, see how it's locked up or see if it's moving the uh, impeller.
actually I think it's the motor that sees. Like when I blow air into there, I can see the actual shaft moving, the impeller, but it's freezing on the, uh, I think the motor up here. I might be able to get this top thing off right there. I'm sure this thing's pretty cheap to replace. So, all right guys, good, good luck here. I'm sure you can hear that, right? That's the, that's the impeller spinner now. Just by tapping it, actually freed up the motor. All right, so I'm gonna do another power test now. I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that. Cool, unlocked. Let's see if that fix worked. Put this thing in. Power. There it goes. Probably needs to be cleaned out a little bit, but yeah, I guess what bugged me about this is I actually I don't drive this truck very often, and I use this every time I get in this truck, and it didn't work for like four or five months, and I knew it'd be a pain in the ass to get down to it to fix it. So, but uh, cool, we're back in business. Free didn't cost me didn't cost me any money.